All right, yo, what is going on, everyone? Hey, Nick, coming back at you with a brand new video. And this one, I'm gonna be very specific with how we use our time. Three questions with three entrepreneurs in three minutes. I went on the live stream and we asked it. All right, first one, we're gonna give about 15 to 20 seconds each to answer, so it's gonna be very prioritized. First one from Lucky Quinn. How do you manage your time as an entrepreneur? We'll start off with you. How do I manage my time? On whiteboards everywhere around my room, I use Google Calendar, set up all the appointments, set up all the calls throughout the day, um, and just make sure everything's getting done. Use checklists, use Google Drive, everything you can. Boom, PB. Morning routines, having structures, also Google Calendar. One of my mentors said, show me your calendar, I'll show you your future. Boom, I like it. I use things physical. I don't actually use Google Calendar or anything online. That's why I have a crap ton of whiteboards. I write it all out the night before, okay? So the next morning, I can bang it out without having to think about it. It's already prioritized. All right, number two, the biggest mistake. We are all young, 18 to 19 years old, so it's kind of hard to look back and regret things, but the biggest mistake, boom, everybody's on the spot. Um, I guess kind of like unfulfilling the work for some of the clients that I thought that I did have time for, I did have the people on those projects, but I sometimes I can overpromise um, and not deliver on time. Yeah, it's better to flip that. Boom. Me, it was trying to take all the information in before taking action. Not enough action, too many, you know, watching videos or watching courses. Also, not acquiring a right mentor. Yeah, I would say me and PB kind of feel the same on the both with one specific business model, learning from the wrong people. But for me, I was listening to too many people when I was trying to do one specific thing. I call that mass mixing. You wanna just focus on one strategy, make it work, and then kind of expand from there. Now this third one, this one's really fun and interesting since they are not in their home and I just moved to this new spot after getting done with traveling. But how does traveling play a role as an entrepreneur? This one was from, who do we got here? I'm gonna try and mention them. That was from Bashar. How does traveling play a role 100%. into you as an entrepreneur? Oh my God, the perspective. If you go going to different places, you guys can see how other people grew up and kind of see the experiences that they went through and it kind of helps and shape your perspective and you know your actions. Boom. I literally just had a video on this, but it's mainly is meeting new people, experiencing cool things, and the biggest shift is the mindset, which is just getting to see the different things, just changing your mindset because you're not at home and you get new ideas, all that good stuff. Boom, that's huge. I would say for me, I travel with a purpose. So if I go, it's to go to a you know a meetup convention for PB, he came down here to link up with me. When I went and traveled, it was for a purpose. When I just went and traveled for the last four months to eight different countries, it was to see these different cultures and immerse myself in that because I've never been there before. And that gives me perspective for bigger picture vision on my businesses. You guys, everybody's channel besides mine, obviously will be linked down below as well as their Instagram. So make sure to check them out. We appreciate you tuning into this very quick video. I don't wanna waste too much of your time. So we'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Peace. Peace.